Hi everyone, I am Vidya Mala. Welcome to my video on interpretation of topographical map part 15. This is the last video on topo map teaching and in this video we will learn how to identify man-made and natural features and also to learn to interpret the climate, rainfall and vegetation in our maps G43 S7 and G43 S10. Let's move into the video. When it comes to natural vegetation, the question is usually name two natural vegetation in the given map. So what you have to do is step one, look at green color in the topographical map and inside these green color parts, you will see some letters related to jungle or forest like dense mixer jungle or fairly dense mixer jungle with bamboo, open mixer jungle, some sort of these words related to forest or jungle will be written and that should be written as the answer. So simple. But in case if there is no green color in the given map, then go for white color. Definitely in white color parts, there will be some words related to scrub, like open scrub. So that should be written as the answer. So now, can you name two vegetation in this map? Yes, fairly dense jungle and dense mixer jungle is the answer. Now, in this map, can you name the vegetation? There is no green color. So we have to look at the white color part and look for the word scrub. So here we have open scrub. Now, what is an open scrub? Open scrub is a type of vegetation found in desert regions or semi-desert regions and it mainly consists of scattered trees, bushes and shrubs. Now, the common mistake, even though our map is an arid and semi-arid region belonging to parts of Gujarat and Rajasthan, do not connect it with the theory part and write dry forest or thorn and scrub forest. No, the answer is wrong. Do not write like this for our topographical map. Just look for words about forest, jungle or scrub in the given part of the map. Whether they have asked northern part of the map or southern part of the map. Sometimes they will ask you name two vegetation to the east of a particular line to a west of a particular line. So read the question properly and just write the name of the vegetation given in the map. There is one more word related to vegetation that you might see in our maps that is fire line. It is not a line but it is actually a 5 meter clearing that is the forest is cleared of all the vegetation for up to 5 meters and why is this done? Look at this picture say for example this is an entire forest. So when there is fire in one part of the forest and when we have the actual fire line here, the fire cannot spread to the other part of the forest. So this clearing is made in order to prevent the spread of forest fires. Here are some common questions related to fire line. Do you think a fire line is necessary here? Give reason for your answer. The answer is yes, a fire line is necessary here because it is a forest area and we need it to prevent the spread of forest fire. Now, the same question may be asked in another way. What is the purpose of a fire line here? The answer is a fire line is used to prevent the spread of forest fire. In some maps, we can also see the words protected forest. In these forest, hunting, grazing and other forestry activities are allowed only with special permission. Whereas in some maps, we have reserved forests. In reserved forest, hunting, grazing and other forestry activities are not allowed. Next, we move on to Man-made and natural features. I think you all know the natural features. Broken ground, seasonal stream, seasonal river, plain land. But when you see contour line, don't write as contour line. Instead, you have to write the feature represented by a contour line. Like hill, gentle slope, steep slope, like that. And when it comes to man-made features, I think you all know 
everything that is created by man all the types of roads settlements and buildings irrigation methods wells canals aqueduct siphon sluice all that comes under man made features here you have to note a very important point trees are trees man made or natural trees are neither man made nor natural feature because they can be either planted and taken care of man or they can grow on their own we do not know that so better do not write trees for either man made or natural now can you identify two natural and two man made features in the grid square 6912 so this is the grid 6912 so what all the natural features we can see here yes this is a seasonal river we also have an island in a river and what are these contour lines this is a hillock that is smaller than a hill we call as a hillock we have so many man made features you see this group of permanent huts it is a settlement we have these blue dots which are perennial line dwells and we see this bro broken red line which is a pack track coming to the last topic climate and rainfall they ask you about the climate of the given map your answer should always be tropical monsoon type of climate with seasonal and scanty rainfall specifically when they ask you about rainfall it should be seasonal and scanty rainfall now evidence for scanty rainfall is open scrub and evidence for seasonal rainfall even though there are so many evidences whichever evidence is present in the map given to us only should be written do not write all the evidences and keep and sometimes specifically they may ask you give man made evidences to prove that the region receives seasonal rainfall or they may ask you other than dry water features give some evidences to prove that the region receives seasonal rainfall so for man made evidences you can write embankments causeway seasonal canal etc whichever is present in your map you write but when they ask other than dry water features give two evidences you can go for broken ground sand dunes depressions etc can you give evidence for seasonal rainfall in this map yes we can see seasonal river seasonal tank and causeway can you give reason for scanty rainfall in this map yes we have open scrub so we have come to the end of a video i hope you understood the concept keep practicing more and more questions And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe see you in my next video until then bye bye